why I stopped speaking in tongues, and you may want to too. Alan Parr just went there in his video that he just dropped. We're going to be breaking it down. I'm going to be weighing in. Did he just cause unnecessary division among the charismatics and the non-charismatics? Let's talk about it. My voice <coughs> is cracking a little bit. So um, I saw this video, the title, as maybe you guys have seen by now, the title grabbed me, literally. Why I Stopped Speaking in Tongues, and you may want to too. Um, Wow, you don't see too many uh, titles like that among the bigger Christian channels, or at least I haven't. So I decided to watch it. I got some thoughts of my own. I got my own experiences with this, but I thought, why not weigh in? This is a hot topic issue. I'm just going to go down. I'm going to share some of his main points in his video. So Alan's first reason why he's questioned to the point of why he's he says he's stopping speaking in tongues and he's encouraging other people to revisit the topic which I'll be honest, I've revisited it. Again, I want, I want to talk about like him making this video. Is it okay that he did this? Or is it throwing a damp rag on people that are, you know, walking in this, this gift and it's really being a great thing for them? I, there's a big conversation, honestly, to have here and we're going to get into more of it. His first reason, number one, he says, I was pressured into speaking in tongues. And I will say, I think if we're being just real, pressured, I don't know if that's, okay, I, I take it back. Yes, there's definitely among some camps the the feeling of being pressured. My own experience, it was uh, at a big conference, a charismatic conference. They had a seminar where you could go to the separate room. I went over there and they just started praying up on stage and inviting people to, to enter in. And I did. It wasn't one of those things where it was just like, oh my goodness, the Holy Spirit has just come upon me and I can't help but just overflow with these words, this heavenly language. And by the way, Brother Allen gets to maybe the difference between speaking in tongues and actual other worldly language that needs an interpretation and then praying in tongues. But for me, it wasn't like I just couldn't help but these utterances, these holy utterances were coming out of my mouth. It was, I'm kind of being coached on how to do it and now I'm doing it. Interesting. I just telling you kind of what happened with me. Alan's first reasons for being concerned was he was pressured into speaking in tongues. Unfortunately, just this kind of atmosphere, this culture around people that are really big advocates for speaking in tongues. And I can think of other, you know, a, a Christian channel or two off the top of my head where it's kind of like, this is a huge deal, speaking in tongues. And if you're not, you are kind of a JV Christian. And Alan uses that term, JV Christian. I think it's kind of appropriate. If you're in that camp, which some, maybe many are, where it's like, okay, uh, I'm, I'm going to look like a JV Christian among this, these groups that I, Christian groups I flow with among my church congregation. So, and then you just start doing it and it's making you feel like, okay, now I've arrived. Now these other people are going to see me this way, super spiritual. Like that's, that's not great. Like, can we just be real? That's not great. He was pressured into it. So I could see how that would kind of make you second guess things. And again, before I get to his second reason, like an emphasis of me reacting and making this video is to ultimately see and decide, Alan in making this video, was it unnecessarily divisive? Or was him making this video maybe balancing out the other side of tongue radicals, tongue extremists, if you will? Was this a, a profitable, beneficial move on his part? I wanna talk about it just honestly. And for the record, I'm friends with Alan. We've had uh, a little bit of back and forth and Appreciate the guy. And guys, I'll, I'll link his video below. I would encourage you to go watch it for yourself since I'm just really kind of summarizing here. So his reason number two for why he's no longer speaking in tongues is that initially he was more or less taking what these spiritual figures that are big advocates for speaking in tongues, um, he was just taking them kind of at their word and not truly studying scripture for himself in this area. And as he began to study it for himself, he's feels like he sees things differently now. And to this point, he talks about the, is there a difference between the speaking in tongues and the praying in tongues? He gets into some scripture and, you know, he's sharing that here's where he has arrived at this point in time. Here's what he sees scripture as saying. And to this point, here's what I think is really interesting. My personal opinion, I feel like I'm talking fast. Cat statue, slow me down. I just ate some of these organic fruit chew things and they just got me going, baby. He is over here, I believe just genuinely sharing, I'm looking at scripture and here's what I'm seeing and I feel like these people maybe that are huge advocates for it or that everybody should have the gift of tongues or if you don't have it, you're not where you should or could be in the spirit, all this stuff, he's saying, here's what I believe the Bible's saying and I think that there's some holes in people's arguments here and maybe holes in my own former argument or former position as I maybe 
heeded what these spiritual figures were saying. I personally, I think this issue, there's room for debate. I think absolutely you can look at it and be like, I'm seeing this stuff in scripture and it's got me concerned about the way that I'm seeing the gift of tongues worked out right now among the churches. But I think you could also argue that there is scriptural precedence for how whether it's speaking in tongues or praying in tongues and praying in a heavenly language, it is still for today. It is still for believers or for, for some believers who have the gift. I hope that with this more or less kind of non-salvation issue, someone who feels one way that yes, it is for today, someone who feels another way, no, I'm not seeing it as for today, we can come humbly together and say, I'm okay with seeing this differently. Unfortunately, I see many people who approach this with such black and white confidence, and if you disagree, you're dead to me, kinda. Not totally, hopefully not. But seriously, you got real passionate people in this camp. You got real passionate people in this camp. And before I continue with Alan's video, I feel like Alan's video, even though I may not land exactly where he does, he does mention a few times, hey, like, I'm, I desire to approach this with humility. He says at the end, if you see this differently than I do, I still love you as a brother in Christ, this not being a salvation issue, I just disagree with you. A reason why I probably wouldn't watch Alan's video with this kind of intense title and feel immediately like, oh, Alan, this was unnecessary division. A reason why I, I probably wouldn't do that is because he's sharing his very personal story of questioning things and then going to scripture and trying to understand what scripture says, how he can apply that to his life and encourage other people. He's, he's allowed to share that. And I don't feel like he's, he's just like beating people that see it differently over the head. You got the flip side. And I think we need to acknowledge the flip side. There are unnecessarily divisive people on the other side that are just going crazy with this saying, you need to be speaking in tongues. You should be speaking in tongues every day. If you're not speaking in tongues, you are, uh, I'm concerned about your faith walk. You're not walking in the power. You're not walking, you're missing a ton of stuff. You should be speaking in tongues. I would say like, Okay, if you're making videos like that and you know maybe preaching that from the pulpit, you're being unnecessarily divisive. But I also think you can be in that camp and be making videos why you feel compelled that speaking in tongues is a good thing and encouraging people to do it, using scripture to back up your argument. I think you can be doing it in a way that it's not unnecessarily divisive either. Either, 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 either. Another thing Alan mentions is that most biblical scholars cannot unequivocally, as he said, conclude that praying in the spirit, which, you know, the Bible talks praying in the spirit is for sure the same thing as speaking in tongues or praying in tongues. Interesting. He says you can interpret praying in the spirit with like praying with the Holy Spirit's power. He also goes on to say this argument that some people make where when you're speaking or praying in tongues, it's a secret code language. The devil can't understand it. He says, you know, where is that in scripture? So Alan goes on to share some more of his concerns, some more of his reasons. And I could see particularly more of the charismatic side or people who are really big into this saying, Alan, this is not helpful you doing this. I personally think anytime we are going to scripture and like really diving in on, on topics, that's a good thing. If Alan making this video is causing more people to be like, man, I really have not studied this. And this is something that I stand over here on or I stand over here on. To, to say, why do I stand over here on it? Let me go to scripture and see. There are some topics, more so just these non-salvation issues that it's like, God, what do you want me to do with this verse? Because I see maybe some biblical scholars and commentaries falling on this side or falling on this side. How do you want me to interpret it and apply it to my own life? And really try to see what scripture is saying more so than taking maybe a Marcus Rogers uh, who's a really big advocate for speaking in tongues. And I feel personally like he goes too far with his positions on it. Or taking someone like Alan Parr and being like, okay, Alan arrived at this place, so I'm gonna, it, it, I was speaking in tongues, but I'm not going to anymore. Like you can weigh out what these two sides are saying and then decide with your study of the Bible and the help of the Holy Spirit where you land and go with those convictions, particularly on non-salvation issues. Can we not demonize people who fall in a different place on this issue? One thing Alan says towards the end of his video is that he never truly had peace speaking in tongues. And he said, like, I do have peace when I get on here and proclaim the word when I teach but I never really did speaking in tongues. If he's just doesn't have peace, it's not being done in faith, all right. But if you do speak in tongues and you have peace and you feel like it does edify you, you've studied and you feel like this is what I believe scripture is telling me that I absolutely can walk in this, 
then do it and be blessed doing it. All right, guys, I wanna hear where you stand on this. A big topic, interesting topic. People get fiery over this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Keep those comments respectful though. We're all on this journey to become a more and more Christ-like. If you enjoyed this video, help out those algorithms by giving it a thumbs up. Thank you guys. Cast at you. Thank you for joining us. Fist bump. Bing. We love you guys. We'll see you again very soon. Have hope and be free. <laughs> Hey guys, as you may have noticed, we get very few brand deals. A big reason for that is because we make unashamedly Christian content. We've had brand deals taken away from us because people who don't like us reach out to them and demand that they cancel us. Due to the fact that we stand on what the Bible says and we don't conform to culture. Which is why our patrons, the names you see here, are so important. You guys really are the lifeblood of this ministry. We could not do it without you all. If you guys believe in this content and you want to partner with us on Patreon, go to patreon.com slash Show or click the link in the description. Go, Go team. team. That was the one. That was the one. <laughs>